Hello everyone and welcome to the third video about limericks and actually this one's about a very famous limerick writer and he is Edward Lear. He's famous nowadays for the books and the poems that he wrote like this one, one of his books of nonsense. But he wasn't just famous for writing poetry and funny songs. So let me tell you a little bit about him. He was born in 1812 and he was born in North London in what was then a village just outside the city called Holloway. He was born into a prosperous family, which means quite rich or well off. His father was a stockbroker and his mother had 21 babies, 21. And Edward Lear was the 20th out of 21 children, although very sadly, a lot of those children, well not a lot, but a number of those children died as babies, which was not that uncommon in those days. When he was still a young boy, about eight or nine, his father went bankrupt, which means that he lost all of his money. And that meant that his parents could not afford to send him to school. And in those days, school you had to pay for. So his sister, Anne Leah, looked after him and she became like a mother to him. And she was also an excellent artist. And she taught him to draw. He didn't, he couldn't really go to school for very many years. So she kept him at home and she taught him to draw. And, um, when he was only 16, he got his first job as an artist. Um, here he is, actually. I thought I should show you a picture of him as a, a young man. We see him there. And he actually drew that picture of himself. It's a self-portrait of him in 1840. So he's about 28 in that picture. And we can also see some of the first work that he did as an artist. He was got a job at London Zoo drawing the animals and you can see some of his beautiful beautiful illustrations. Here are his kestrels. Then if we turn over you can see this fabulous owl and as he was drawing the creatures. He had ideas for books for children and little poems and rhymes. So his first books were actually, he wrote ABC books to teach children their letters. So E was an eagle, exceedingly regal, who sat on a rock and stole lambs from the flock. E, dreadful old eagle. And here is V for a visibly vicious vulture. So he's an absolutely fantastic artist. I don't know if you can see his flamingo here standing on one leg. And as he was drawing, he was also drawing these funny cartoons. This is a picture of himself. And it says, verily, I am an odd bird. Um, I did that in 1863. I'll show you one more picture from this book, which is absolutely superb, isn't it? And he was most famous as a young man. He got that job as an artist at London Zoo when he was only 16. So a lot of those pictures were done when he was still a teenager. And he became very famous for his birds and particularly for his parrots. Now that, those pictures became so famous that he got a job with an extremely rich man called Lord Derby and I think I've got a picture of Lord Derby here somewhere. Here he is. Here's Lord Derby. He was one of the richest men in England and it was at a time when 
explorers were going out and they were discovering new plants in South America and new species in Australia. And Lord Derby was a tremendous collector of animals and plants and birds. And he went to live with Lord Derby in his house. And his job was to draw the all of the incredible animals and birds that were being sent back from all over the world. And at Lord Derby's house, he met a lot of people who would become his patrons. And that means rich people who were interested in art and who were interested in buying work that Edward Lear created. But all his life, Edward Lear loved children. And so he became great friends with the children of Lord Derby. And this was when he started doing funny pictures and rhymes and limericks for children. And so his first book, Edward Lear's Book of Nonsense, was written, first of all, for the children of Lord Derby. When he uh, got a little bit older, he decided he wanted to become a landscape painter landscape, meaning it's paintings of the land, nature, beautiful places, and it's partly because you could get a lot more money if you were very successful and doing that. And he tried all his life. He went abroad, he went to Greece, he went to Egypt, he went all over the world painting places and trying to sell his paintings, although he was actually not as successful a landscape painter as he had been. Uh, painting uh, animals. As he became older, he actually started to write much more, um, many more nonsense songs, including the Jumblies and the Owl and the Pussycat, which was recently voted the nation's favourite poem, and the Dong with the Luminous Nose. I thought I'd finish off by reading you a couple of funny poems. Yeah. He was a very famous man, Edward Lear, in his own life. Um, Queen Victoria loved his work and she invited him to give her um, art lessons. So he went to Buckingham Palace. He was almost the same age as Charles Dickens and they knew each other. He was friends with the famous poet um, Alfred Lord Tennyson. So he was quite a, a famous person in his life. And I thought I'd finish off with a couple of funny limericks. So, there was an old man of Spithead who opened the window and said, Phil Jumble, Phil Jumble, Phil Rumble, come tumble. That doubtful old man of Spithead. And this one. There was an old man of Whitehaven who danced a quadrille with a raven that they said, it's absurd to encourage this bird, so they smashed that old man of Whitehaven. And, oh, there are so many lovely po uh, poems and limericks. There was a young girl of Mallorca whose aunt was a very fast walker. She walked 70 miles and leapt 15 styles, which astonished that girl of Mallorca. So, if you look down in the link below you'll find some of this information and some more of his limericks for you to read and if you could see if you can write in five sentences some of the important things that you've learned about Edward Lear. You might need to watch the video again. Okay see you later everybody bye bye